Hi, and welcome to the Puppy Techie YouTube channel. Today's video is how you can remove backgrounds from your images using three different resources, all which are free. Two are web pages, and one is a free photo editing software application. Now, each of these have their strengths and their weaknesses, and each offer a free and a paid version of their products. Please subscribe to the Peppy Techie and tap on that notification bell and you'll know when I make new videos. And now let's get to it and I'll show you how to remove backgrounds from your images quickly and easily for free. The first page we're going to use today is remove.bg and you can upload an image here or just drop it down. You can actually even copy and paste an image onto this and I'm just going to say upload image and I have Daisy High here that we're going to use. So we're going to grab this and see what kind of job this does. Now you can see right now this is a very clean image. I'm going to click on the edit and hit the plus so I can zoom in here and move these cursors around. It did a wonderful job of removing the white, the background. It really does a great job. And just to kind of give you an, an idea what you can do with this is you could add some blur to this. I'll come back out and it'll keep the cut out and it'll add a blur so you can get an idea how good did it do. We'll add this blur and I can really see down in here the white. I can see it got rid of the carpet in here. Really did a wonderful job. We can put her in a road. Uh, get rid of the blur, uh, some grass, and then get an idea how good this is. This is also an opportunity for you to go to Erase and Restore. So if there was something you wanted to restore that maybe you felt got erased, you could use it. you got a brush size here that can go to very, very small. And you could erase something maybe that you want to erase that stayed in the image that you didn't like. Maybe we'll just say this little bit of white in here or something. There we go. <laughs> to something. All right, so that's how that works. And now to download it, this is really where, for me, the problem comes and where it breaks down. It does an incredible job. Probably of all the websites I have used, this does the best. However, when you go to download the image, it's only 433 by 577. That's about a quarter of a megapixel. Now we buy cameras, at least mine, is 24 megapixel. And to have something go down to be a quarter of a meta megapixel is very small. Now if you're using this on a small image that you don't need it to be really big, it's fine. But if you need this to be very, very big and really, really high quality, if you try to make it bigger, it's just going to become a fuzzy daisy. So if you wanted to, you could pay for the download the high res. Let me give you another option. So now we're going to come to our next one, which is Pixlr BG, which is the background remover. They also have the X, which is an editor, and the E, which is another really big editor. So really have some nice options with this product. I'm going to go to Open Image, and we'll grab Daisy High again. Now you'll notice for free, and I get to choose I can do a 3840 by 2880, I could do a 1920 by 1440, and I can even do the smallest image for them is the 1280 by 960. So you see the huge difference in the quality that you can get from this as far as the image quality when it's done. We'll choose the medium one to make it a little fair. Here's what it's done, and I'm going to use my mouse wherever I stick the pointer and I zoom in, that's where it will come in. And you can see this has got a little bit more white in this image that kept. Uh, I can come down here to her feet and see the little bit more carpet that was left. But for the most part, this is not a bad image for free. I will come to the fine tune here. And again, you have a magic where you can choose whether you want to do a soft, light, or medium. And you can choose an area. If I click this, it, you can start choosing areas that you want to get rid of. Uh, you can change the tolerance to much higher or much lower. You have the shape, if there's a specific shape you were looking for, or you can use a lasso to, to get rid of something. I'm going to use the brush and I'm going to invert the image so I can see what I have here. Invert it again. You can also have a hint, which kind of shows you a little bit of the background. And what I want to do is remove some of this in here. So I'm going to zoom in and I've got a very soft brush. This is very hard. It's very, very hard. No softness to the edge at all. So I highly re recommend at least using a 35 on the softness here.
Now you'll notice it isn't showing me what I've taken out because I've got that hint in there so I can get rid of the hint and it's no longer there. Now be careful that when you do make this cut you don't have any extra stuff way out here in the empty area and the best way to do that is actually invert the image and make sure you don't see anything sticking where it shouldn't be. So I'll just say invert it again so I've got what I want and I'm going to download this image. It's going to come in to my download folder and you'll notice this image 4 by 8 by 6 by 4 is 300 by 300 dots per inch and it's 2.7 megapixel image at 24 bit. It's a 1.6 megabyte image which is about the size of the original image. When I come to this image which was taken by the background remove if I do 300 by 300, my image is one and a half by almost two inches. That's as big as it will get, and it's only 2.24 megapixel, and it's 202 kilobytes. The original image is 1.6 megabytes in size. So if I change this to 72 by 72, which is really, if you're going to put it on a web page, just fine. But if you're going to print it, that's a whole different issue. 300 by 300 if you're going to print it. Then I can make this 6 by 8 and use it on my web page. Again, please note it is still only 24 megapixels. It's only 233 kilobytes. It's a very small image. It will load very quickly on your web page. But the quality is a little fuzzy. So if we come back to the other one, you can see this is the same image. But it's 4 by 6 at 300 and it's a 1.6 megabytes, 2.7 megapixels, and it's much sharper and cleaner at this size. So let's go take a look real quickly at your next option, which is Photoscape. So in Photoscape, this is a editor. You have a lot of choices, but right up here at the top is Cutout. And I'm going to go get Daisy right here and just drag her onto the image. So there it is. Now with this one, it will not automatically do it. You do have to do a mask. I'm going to put my tolerance at 50, 55, somewhere in there. And I'm actually going to use a lasso tool with the plus and close path. And what that allows me to do is use my mouse and kind of circle around what I want. And I'll speed this up. So it automatically inverts, and now we can use the brush tool to kind of clean this up. So we're going to invert this mouse, and I'm going to come here and just erase some of this white that I've got in here that I don't want. Again, it's a little different. It's not going to do as the same kind of job uh, that Remove BG did, and I really do love that app. Now, if you really want to get picky and you want to do this really nicely, what I would advise is when I'm going to come to the brush shape here, I'm sorry, you can change your brush shape. You can do all kinds of things. So if I wanted to use a brush like this and I wanted to just kind of come down the edge here around Daisy, I can use that. So you get some choices. And again, because I have this smooth edges, it will actually smooth the edges for me. And I can also come in here real close and I can do stuff like this to edit it. And that way you can see how it pixelates. If you smooth the edges, you kind of get rid of that pixelation. So now that I'm done, one of the things you can see down here, you have undo button, which I really like with the web pages. You usually don't have those undo. You can revert it to the original. And now I can just save this. Now, one of the cool things you can do when you're in this image is you can right click on this image and say copy to clipboard, come over to the editor, right click again and say new from clipboard. And now you've got it in the editor and you can come up here and add adjustments you can add effects and you can transform things. So now what we're going to do is say, well, if I was using this image, this would be a thumbnail for my YouTube channel. When you're in a thumbnail, you know, thumbnails are small. So the quality of those images doesn't have to be huge. This is an example of the graphics creator. I've got a link to the software down below and I can bring it Daisy into this image. I can have her ring in the bell. And just to give you an idea, I'm going to import. This one is Remove Background BG. So as you can see, at a small image of Daisy, that's not bad. It's a fine image. When I start making Daisy bigger, and we'll bring this one to the, bring it to the front, you can see the difference in the quality here. So 
These have been my three choices for removing background from an image. If you found value in this video tutorial, please smash that like button. Please leave your comments down below. If you have questions, ideas, or just want to shout out and say hello, that would be fine too. Thank you for watching and I hope you subscribe so we can catch up again soon on future videos. I leave you today with the quote of the day, try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. Maya Angelou. Have a wonderful day. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Please make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video. And leave your comments down below. Your questions, your thoughts, even your advice is much appreciated. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie channel.